Hi Old School fans, I'm Dan, the Old School Conditioning Man. This is Old School Conditioning Training and welcome to another episode of the Bartitsu Project and this is what we're doing today. We are going to be taking our third and final look at the strikes of Lacane by Joseph Chalmont all right, before we start looking at Vinnie Lacane and also get into grips with the exercises of Lacane by Chalmont. Right, <clears throat> We've done the horizontal and vertical face and head cuts. So we're now going to be looking at the thrust attacks, okay? All right, so there's three different types of thrust attack. You have high line, okay? You have high line advancing, okay? There, all right. High line without advancing, there. All right, and then you have low line attacks, okay? All right, without advancing, there. All right, and then low line and with advancing there. All right, and then also we've got bayonet strikes, all right, double-handed strikes, all right. That's to the, to get you to cover all three ranges, all right. So the high line with advancing, okay, will cover longer range attacks, okay. <clears throat> Mid-range attacks, and then close range and into grappling range. All right, so <clears throat> let's have a look at the first of these. All right, high, like the high level thrust. Okay, so left foot facing forwards, all right, rearward, knee bent, and you're in a tear guard, thumb underneath of the stick. All right, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna step forward with the right foot, twisting our body when the right foot hits the ground, we're going to punch the straight, the, the stick out straight in a stabbing motion as if we're thrusting with a sabre. Okay, all right, so there. All right, and notice that the hand comes over all right, to a fourth guard. All right, and then back. All right, there. Now, what I do find is if you keep the, the hand up straight, and you get quite a lot of reverb of force down through the elbow and it can be quite painful. So what I find is easy is just to drop the hand slightly as you're twisting it. Okay, there, and then back. All right, there, and then back. All right, there, and then back. There, and then back. Right, that's advancing. So let's have a look at it without advancing. All right, it's more of a mid-range, okay? Still from a tear scarred, okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten the rear leg, bend the front leg, and then twist the right side of the body, and then thrust straight with the arm. There, all right? And then back. There, and then back. There, and then back. There. And then back. There. And then back. All right. Low line thrust attacks. All right. So we're in our guard. All right. Mid range this time. Okay. Without advancing. All right. Pull the arm back and then just. Pushing forwards, bending the front leg, twisting the body, and then in an upward circle, jabbing up into the body's abdomen, just underneath the rib cage, sternum, and solar plex area, or even just into the pit of the stomach. All right. I am, we'll look at doing it a little bit further away. And this time we're gonna be doing it advancing. So we just step forward with our right foot and then it's just a low line stabbing coming upward, upward motion. There. There. 
that. 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 Personally, out of the high line and the low line, I think the low line are much more effective. Okay. All right. Because if you're moving around, all right. That. And you can also easier follow up with, you know, a takeaway, all right, and into an overhead thrust. So, all right, from there, a takeaway, bang, and then back. Okay, so, and back. All right, so we're moving. You can combine them together. All right, so let's have a look at thrusting high line and then low line. Okay, and what we'll do, we'll do high line advancing, all right, and then just a low line without advancing, okay? So, high line with advancing. There, pull the arm back and then stab and then back. All right. That's low line attacks. Let's have a look at the double-handed attacks, I or bayonet attacks, as people want to call them, because it looks like you're stabbing with a bayonet. I have the forehand about 15, 20 centimeters um, from the tip, and have the rear hand with a little bit of the edge coming out. Okay, and again, we're in a tear scarred. All right. Leaning backwards, okay, all right. Now, without advancing, okay, all we're gonna do is push forward, all right, and then straighten the arms into strike, okay, at head height, all right. So, so we'll, there, all right, there, 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 there. And you can also do these low as well. Okay, so there, there, there. All right. And you can also do them advancing. All right. But this time you're going to step on with step, push off the back foot and step on the front leg. There. All right. All right, so you can go higher than low, then step back. All right, all right. But also as well, the reason why you have your hand not right at the edge, if there's someone behind you, okay, you're caught in the middle of the two adversaries. All right, bang, straight into the head there. All right, there's someone, if you know someone's behind you, okay, all you need to do, straighten the front leg, drop the stick, Bang! All right, straight into the body, and bang, straight into the head again. All right, so let's try that. Oh, someone's behind. There, there. All right, so we'll do that again. All right, someone's behind. There, there. All right. Okay, right, I'm Dan. This has been Old School Conditioning Training, and I hope you've enjoyed the Bartitsu project so far. Okay, and that's it for thrust attacks uh, for Josie Sean Mons Lacane. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a moment, guys. Don't be no crazy fool. Hit that subscribe button and follow Dan at Old School. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.